Kaboom. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the AIB Show. This is Lynette. And Dominic. Can you not hear me? Dominic's making a bunch of hand gestures. <laughs> hear me now, dog. Not, not so well. It's better now. I haven't done anything. <laughs> so I get better. I haven't done anything. I don't know with your cheap Wi-Fi. All right. Um, so, yeah, so we were talking about uh, we ended the last episode on a cliffhanger. My cliffhanger <laughs> that nobody cares about. But I'm going to tell you anyway, because the two of you that are listening may be interested to know that Amit went to Taco Bell yesterday because the Mexican pizza is back. However, I did not have a completely pleasant experience. So I go out to go to get the car washed and take her some errands. And I'm coming back and I go, oh, there's Taco Bell. So I decided to stop at Taco Bell. Right. And I was like, all right, do we drive through or go inside? The drive through line is madness. I'm like, all right, I'll go inside, pick up my food, take it home and eat. I don't want to eat there. I want to come home and eat. They ain't so fast food down here like they're supposed to be. Like this is, I mean, I mean, I'm waiting a good 20 plus minutes to get some order. Which oh, is wow. Madness. Did, you, did you know you had to use the kiosk? They have a kiosk? No, no, I'm, I'm an adult guy and I'm tech savvy. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, I wasn't waiting for somebody to come to the counter. I went to the kiosk. Right. But dog, it took no joke, 20 plus minutes, literally 20 plus minutes to get my food at Taco Bell. It's supposed to be fast food. Right. Taco, the Mexican pizza was dope. I do remember it fondly and it, it, it did me. It, it was good. But 20 some minutes. Right. And then the worst part of that. So so that's why the experience is all crap, because I don't like waiting 20 minutes for the Taco Bell and the majority. And there's a bunch of people coming in to get Taco Bell to go. And I'm like, is there a really big market? You guys just can't go to Taco Bell and pick it up yourself. Like this Taco Bell is a go thing, paying another five dollars for Taco Bell is supposed to cost you a dollar anyway. I don't get that whole dynamic, but that's how people do for the for the shipping stuff, for the Uber stuff. That's you. You're that guy who paid for the Uber de Uber delivery for the picking up. Or are you too cheap? No, unless it's like, you know, there's a discount and you're negotiating it. It's nominal, but well, that's what I'm saying. There's no logic. I'm gonna get Taco Bell. You got to get a lot of Taco Bell to make it worth the delivery cost. I would assume. Yeah. Right. So there's that. So I either way, point is, messing pizza's back and it's good. Um, but the way to Taco Bell down here in Miami, garbage. Then a couple a couple weeks ago, I went to they opened uh, a Chipotle by me. Worst Chipotle experience ever. And I don't love Chipotle in the first place. I know you like it. My you, this lady tried to roll a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it takes a, it takes a skill, right? These guys got a skill. This lady <laughs> had that skill at all, like legit. Like I'm looking this me. first of all, the line out the door. These people are the slowest people ever. At both these places in Miami that I'm relying on, I don't go to many fast food spots, but I went to these two. Slowest possible situations. Like you walk to Taco Bell. One of my brother when he was here, so it's been a minute. And we literally just walked out. And I was like, yeah, I can't do this. We just walked out. Like it was pointless. That's how crazy it is. But like I was like, I was like, why would anybody do this? It's madness. Like why would it take so long to get this done? It's supposed to be fast food or fast casual, whatever they're calling it now. And maybe I'm spoiled because I live in New York for a minute where that stuff is efficient, dude. I'm in and out minutes, not even. These guys got down to a science, yelling out call signs or whatever else. Food is made on time. Good to go. No mistakes. Not good to go. Miami, Bridget, these people, yeah, worse than Jamaica, dog, taking their sweet time. I mean, I don't mind worse than Jamaica, but yes, Bridget. I get what you're saying. There's dude, nothing, two, there's nothing yeah, worse than Jamaica efficient. customer service speed. Horrible, nothing. horrible. But I digress. You continue. Um... What you got? <laughs> you want the box, Bridgerton. So, do you know where Martin County, Florida is? Uh, I do actually. That's up by Veer. It's up north, north of you. Because I used to do an north. audit. I used to audit yeah. Martin County back in the day, just so you know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's two counties north of Palm Beach. wherever I live. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nobody cares oh. where you live, guy. <laughs> Never know. Oh, I, we know. Uh, <laughs> Nobody cares where you live. So, high school there recently, um, several kids posted on campus. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Um, I don't know if it was a middle school or a high school, but each of them holding a letter that spells out the N-word. You know, with the typical uh, smiling and posing on school campus. Like, uh, it's a normal and, and funny thing. It's I don't know, man. 2022, I just, it's hard for me more and more every day now to give passes for ignorance, where I think before I would have more. Um, so yeah, so it's an interesting, they also came out and said they're also investigating also. I mean, we'll be investigating. 
You see who the six kids are. Well, but it's only that, right? Here's the difference, right? Back in the day, meaning when it was when it was prevalent for white people to use that word, right? Regular. I would I could say that I could understand a child or somebody picking up the word because it's been used so frequently around them, right? In relation to black people. I would hope that in 2022, that word is that word isn't bandied about. So you have to seek out this particular word and make it like, and if you're that age, you've either been in brought up in a situation where this word is used very regularly, right? Or you were literally going out and seeking out this word and thinking at the end of all that, that, Hey, this is totally cool and fine. In which case you were just a horrible person, right? At whatever age you are, if you find this to be cool and hopefully you grow out of it, but right now you're a horrible person, right? And your parents is horrible people too. Because they didn't teach you anything. Right. Uh, it's, I don't know. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. It's just. I mean, it's not even, a th like, it's, it's, this is, this is worse than blackface. Right. Which is also so, you know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. <laughs> they can go down this, this level, right? The only thing they didn't do was have, was, was have some caricature on a lynch. Like, they're borderline, you're that aggressive with this. Yeah. And these are kids. But they're not so kids what, where they're idiot what, kids. So what's appropriate? Let's assume they're high school. I don't know what's appropriate. Oh, I don't know how you punish people, man. Um, that's that's one that yeah, I I don't I part don't. Of me says, part of me says expel them, and the other part of me says, "What's that going to do? Is that or if a punishment is that teach them anything? And is there a way to teach them anything? You know? Yeah, but you cannot so not. I, okay, I, here's here's no, here's here's a sad rate. You cannot not punish them. Correct. I just don't know. Then you got a Donald Trump situation. You can't not punish them, right? Yeah. So then I just you don't have know to... what's appropriate and what's what's actually meaningful. But both appropriate and also meaningful for the future. And I mean, as, a I would deterrent, say as a deterrent to others, but also educating and enlightening others and these same people. Which I don't know what, I'm glad I don't have to decide that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know the dynamics here. Right? I guess you could expel them, but then I assume they go to another school. Like they just go to another school. Like it's not like anything actually changed. I mean, you add an inconvenience to your family. Yeah. It but... disrupts their life and their, and the, the family's life. Which I, I mean, that's pretty big too. That's also assuming there's another public school in that. I'm assuming it's a public school or private school. Do we know that? I don't know. Um, and I say that because the county isn't very populous, so I don't expect there to be many a public school running around. Is why I'm saying that. So if you kicked them out of that school, for example, it'd be pretty difficult for them to find another school within an appropriate proximity, or they would have to go to a private school, which would definitely affect the parents in it. Uh, you know, uh, in that situation. Yeah, it'll be interesting. There's but again, you've got to seek this out. Like you have to seek it out. Like and then say and and then be, I don't know. No, that's what I'm saying. It makes like it's you like, have it's, to. It's like the people who can certain people can commit crimes and have zero regret, zero remorse. You know, the most graphic. There's like part of your mentality, your brain that just has to fly past what's human decency and think doesn't matter. This is funny. This is my point because so which is why I'm led to believe that this is a parent dynamic. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something that's comfortable in the family dynamic. And I'm making that assumption or that based on the fact that that's a word in that context that you have got to seek out. And if you're looking at your other white friends and thinking this is cool, the only place that's going to tell you that's cool is your parents, Fox News. <laughs> and maybe some church you go to in some You're an idiot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but seriously, man, like who's using that word in general? So speaking you know of Fox, speaking of Fox News, your boy Tucker Carlson. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I've actually never heard it in person, but I've seen clips of it of mm -hmm. him talking about the um, you know, white replacement. You yeah. hear this term? Yeah, which I hate. I hate all these terms, but yeah. So, um. Well, this wasn't like I know you don't like a lot of politically correct term. This wasn't that. This was this is white people making up this term. No, I'm with you. I just like all oh. the terminology that says what you just just say you're racist, man. I don't like all the terminology. <laughs> like, that's what I'm telling you. Just be simple, man. Tell me I just don't like black people. Just say it. So he's mentioned this this subject several times, Tucker. But then four hundred and you, some odd times, actually. I did not know that. Yeah, Holy you, crap. Oh, that was a couple. 400 some I, no, I honestly thought it was like a dozen times. <laughs> no, dog. It's hundreds. Wow. Okay. 
So then, when you, my point, with, just tell me you're racist, dude. Just these, say it. Uh, I'm out. I don't these want white supremacists like the Buffalo Shooter and others in these chat boards, it's a it's a phrase they use ad nauseum. It's yeah. just nonstop. You know, the uh, the minorities have faster reproduction rates and our higher reproduction rates, and they're we're being replaced. You know, it's white white power feels very what's the word um fearful right their their whole entire power structure for centuries is for the straight white male is seemingly i would not say crumbling because they're certainly still at the top but you know their stronghold on the top is weakening the gays have a voice the Negroes and other darker pigmented individuals have a voice. Ladies have a voice. Do they? You you mentioned you mentioned no, no. three different you, groups. You can right have there. a voice and not have meaningful impact. They never had voices before. Fine. They but have you, a voice. You, you mentioned three different situations, three different groups of people. Yeah. The gays in Florida, you you, you can't be overtly gay in certain areas. <laughs> in, in this, in <laughs> Women apparently can't decide what they want to do with their own bodies, right? And black people are getting killed in supermarkets. So this voice you speak and, of, and I can't be, this, can't be talked about, land. and can't be talked about in school. Yeah, so I just said it's a certain situation. Those being a little more general, but yeah, but no, no I, didn't say, I didn't mean I didn't say the gay. I said the black Sorry. CRT. Oh my, okay, even that too, right? Yeah. So so history about how we got here can't talk about that in schools either. We're literally burning books, literally burning books. The ignorance in that alone is is dumbfounding. Like it's beyond stupid. Like it is the definition of stupidity, I would say. I see the idea to burn books so that nobody learns what you think they won't learn because, oh yes, the internet doesn't exist. You friggin' moron! Like it's just, I mean, it, the stupidity is it's rampant, right? And it frustrates me to know. Obviously, I'm frustrated because it's just so dumb, right? It's so dumb. And I heard this, and I don't know if this is true or false, right? I heard that Fox News was registered as an entertainment company, not a news broadcasting organization which gives them a little bit of flexibility for some of the things that are out there, right? And then somebody, I, I, and, and then one of the caveats to that was that they're allowed in the, pre, in, the, in the White House press briefing room, but um, the Daily Show and, you know, uh, uh, you know late night with, with, with whomever isn't, and they're as newsworthy, I would say, as are whomever you have on primetime on Fox. So I don't know if that's 100% true, by the way. I could just be, I could be just parroting in ignorance. And I'm hoping that I'm not. I got to do some research on this next time. But caveat, if that is true, pretty damn crazy. And smart. I mean, just, crazy I mean, genius just, is crazy. Yes, I mean. but also evidence is everything we knew about the whole creation of. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm not saying, I'm saying crazy forth. genius yeah. is crazy. Like I'm saying this is, you know what you're trying to get after and well played, right? Beat the system. I remember right? the word, th threatened. White dominance, white power feels threatened. It's a perceived threat, whether real or not. Because like you're saying, do women, do gay people, do minorities have significant voices? But there's certainly a perceived threat. So they don't have voices. And I'll say it again. Because currently, and, and first of all, and I blame, the, moving on who's to blame, but they don't have voices. And it's a, if it's not obvious, I don't know what else you want me to do. It's blatantly obvious. Right? The fact that the fact that we're even having these discussions, the fact that I don't say gay bill even exists, the fact that all these things are out there proves they don't have a voice, right? In many parts of the country. And when people go, oh, well, this state's cool and that state's cool. If it's allowed anywhere, right? If you can have kids in a school in Martin County where these uh, like hold up this sign or whatever, right? Like these kind of things are just, it's no, man, that's just, that's, that's, that's horrible to so many levels. There's a trailer for a movie that came out, and I'm so curious to see what happens when the movie comes out in September, I believe it is. A movie called Bros, right? It's in essence, it's a, it's the gay version. This is it's done by the same people who did Bridesmaids and stuff like that. Meaning, you know, Bridesmaids and whatever was like just raunchy out there comedy kind of thing, like kind of aggressive, but it's gay, right? Like gay leads, gay every it's and it's the trailer is ridiculously funny, right? But oh my god, I'm waiting to see what happens <laughs> in turn areas because it's gonna rub people the wrong way completely. And wow, pun intended. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna annoy some people. And I'm so curious and hopeful that it does bring out the the blatant homophobia in other people. And I'm sure it will. 
um, because I, I, I this and, and it's NBC Universal putting it out there. Like it's a big motion picture that's coming out there. It's not a small one off. It's a big motion picture that's putting it out there. So I'm very curious to see how this plays around in certain states, right? Or if they pull a whole Dubai dynamic, oh, we can't have it here because we're a church going folk. Like I'm that's very curious to see if this stupidity, the church going stupidity that is, comes through this dynamic. Your lap. White and white, that happens, white, evangel white evangelical pastors also. So taxation in churches, I think, is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard of in my entire life. And I've heard many a dumb thing because I've been I've lived these past six years. So that also, that whole concept is stupid to me. And I mean that wholeheartedly, stupid. Because if it's not evidenced by the fact that the Vatican owns, uh, or the Catholic Church, sorry, owns what, how much real estate globally? If it's not yeah. apparent that the fact that you have all these, all these, these mega church pastors in the U.S., right, who own crazy, crazy homes and do whatever else and blah, 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 right? Like it's, 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 it's madness. It's it's just crazy, right? There's a I'm gonna butcher it. George Carlin. There's a documentary today. Well, by the time you hear this, uh, came out on HBO Friday the twentieth. Those interested in George Carlin, for those who don't oh, yeah. know George ha Carlin, Happy Memorial Day, everyone. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Happy Memorial Day. Yeah, um, oh, George Carlin is a freaking yes. genius. And one of the things he said, uh, about, and he grew up in a in a in a in a, in a religious household. And one of the things he said, he goes, he was like. He was like, God loves you, but he wants you. I'm paraphrasing, right? When you hear it, he'd say better. God loves you, but he wants you to fear him. And if you don't fear him, you could go to hell for a long period of time, but he loves you and he needs your money. <laughs> Which I just found to be amazingly funny, right? That dude, genius. Watch it. I, it's a documentary that, uh, whatchamacallit, put out there. Um, oh, my God. Oh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, dude who did every um, um, uh, forty year old virgin and all those movies. Uh, the, the director created that, but Rudd? doesn't Rudd? really matter. Isn't it Rudd or Dud? No, he not say <laughs> Dud. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Rudd is in the movie. You idiot! <laughs> no, Dud? I mean the next, the next guy. Isn't Ain't nobody guy? named Dud, man. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Either way, go watch the Carlin thing. It's really amazing. It will be amazing. I haven't seen it. I know it's going to be amazing. By the time I hit, by the time we, by the time we actually listen to this, I would have seen it, and I would probably oh, double down. Young fool. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> I told you the other. I said, Rudd or Dud, right? Yeah. The my yeah. name Judd. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Judd Avatar. <laughs> Yeah, but I was right. Anybody named Dud? <laughs> Dud Avatar? Like Dud, Come on, man. Dud's a Judd. name. <laughs> I'm amazed I didn't even, I, I couldn't put it together either, but yes. I knew I was in the realm. That's how I did. Dud, whatever. <laughs> All right, what else you got? Um, 10 days post surgery. Actually, today would be 13 days post surgery, but 10 days, three recorded, days ago. Today's I, listening day. 10 days what? Today is in the days recorded or the day people listening? Uh, no, no, the listening. Mm. <laughs> so three days ago, <laughs> which would be today, I uh, ten days post surgery, I was on a bike. Where we at? You rode a bicycle or a stationary bike? Stationary bike, but still. Oh. Yeah, no, it's good, man. That's, Modern, that's yo, wild. they got way better at this stuff. That is wild. They got way better. Did you lose any weight because you because you couldn't eat? A yes, bit? yes, I'm eating yeah. better now. Yeah. Are you eating better or you just didn't eat? <laughs> no. I no, there's that. a difference. No, <laughs> when I had surgery, I couldn't eat for a little bit. That's what I'm saying. No, when I had COVID, in 10 days, I lost 19 pounds. Yeah, I didn't eat. In two days, it came right back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I'm, I'm amazed you're walking. That's actually really good. It took yeah. what? It, last surgery is what? We had six weeks each. We couldn't move. Couldn't move. It was miserable. Right? And now you can roll around. That's pretty good. It's your right leg or left leg? Left, so I can drive now too. Like, all right. Yeah, that's that's safe. Yeah. Then. That's last safe surgery, then. the last surgery I made had he decided to go partying on New Year's. Yeah. Probably ruin his knee for another 10 years. Very immature. True. It's true. But hold up. But it, the, the party on New Year's wasn't the issue. The issue was to go to this particular club, which is really stupid in Jamaica, right? And not but at all friendly to anybody with handicap. 
it was all stairs and the yeah, place was on the roof. an elevator, right? Four floors. No. I think. <laughs> Man, I mean, it went up like no joke. Like I think it was like at least ten stories, right? Like that's that's fair, right? I think it wasn't ten stories, was it? Eight stories, bro. It oh, ain't I like it was, it was a two story building. It was... The thing was huge. Eight stories at least. Oh wow! Think about it. So eight stories on crutches. Also, for those of you who know him, it it's a sweater. This was not comfortable for any shirt or pants <laughs> that I had on. That I'm dripping with sweat. Right. And I'm doing this on crutches and I got an immobilizer in my knee and it's Jamaica where the humidity is like 9 million percent. Horrible experience. But I do remember it. I've never been back to that place since, by the way. And it shut down soon after. Not that that had to do with me. Yeah, I was going to say. And then the hotel got torn down. after that. Yeah. And now it's yeah. a new hotel. Yeah. That also is a rooftop that yeah. also I've only been to once, but I use the elevator this time. And luckily I don't have I haven't had knock on wood. The, the, the knee is held up. Um, I'm surprised you're not you're not doing something today for Memorial Day. <laughs> Such a freaking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna do something idiot. soon. Actually, you, after you eat breakfast, you're gonna go go do something. I, I would have done it yesterday. Wait, well, no, you're going to Murph. Monday morning. What are your plans for today? Tell my Murph. Oh, you are doing Murph. Yeah, but I'm doing I'm doing it. Um, I I, I did it two days ago, Saturday this. It could be very confusing oh, for people oh, listening. Oh, I'm doing the oh. Saturday before the Monday. Also before tomorrow. Today. Also tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, sorry, a week from tomorrow. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> anyway, oh, you're yeah. doing Murph on a Saturday? Yeah. And again Monday or no? No, no, no. Just Saturday. Why? Because it's Saturday. And take, save Monday for some for, for some uh for some barbecue and then kicking back. Yeah. Well, the gym is closed on Monday for us. Oh, I'm close I, today. Mean, I mean, doesn't that answer the question? I guess it started there. <laughs> I, I had to go through the logic and then I realized what it was. Yeah, the gym yeah, closed today. What about your New York? They wouldn't open up for Murph? Like a lot of gyms would just open up. Like I'm that trying to remember. Morning. I don't recall. I think we did it on Saturdays too. I don't remember. Hmm. Yeah. But either way, so I'll do it Saturday. I get back in. I, I did it two days ago because I you got have back your own New York. Vest or you have to borrow ago. somebody's vest. No, I'm a vest. Come on now. You don't do the vest? If there, I don't own a vest. If there is oh, a vest that's good. there, that's. That's here's the problem with the vest. One is somebody else just wore it, so it's sweaty AF. That's what I was and asking. It smells, and it smells horrible. Right. Two is you got to wear a shirt around the vest, and it's not a shirt working out kind of dude. Because oh, otherwise, you get some kind of chase. Back it up. Beep, 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 beep. You know, I am a shirt working out kind of dude. Um, here is shirt in the pool kind of dude. Here is shirt <laughs> all the way kind of dude. <laughs> but I've, I've done the vest. I've done the vest many times. In my Stand shirt. shirt? Yeah. You're a madman, dude. Your nipples will rip right off. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Trust me. The vest, <laughs> even with you a shirt. You didn't realize you did it? <laughs> Why would you That's even like, try that? Because That's I don't run like this. No, no. You run like this with your, with your thumbs in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I am not doing, I'm not doing it that way. But, yeah. All right. For those that don't know, Murph is a um, an annual CrossFit workout on Memorial Day to, I guess, in honor of uh, fallen soldier Murphy and the workout is to run a mile technically wearing a 20 technically the whole thing wearing a 20 pound vest run a mile then do 100 pull-ups uh 200 push-ups 300 air squats and then yeah. run another mile how long did it take you two hours no but I flew through can I the honest truth okay well hold on why would you no I want lie to me down because <laughs> you lie know me, I don't run so even just I first started off running just a mile and then I run a mile in a vest and I always do things in a vest. So anyway, prepared the whole thing, running that first. Everyone talked about the last mile is misery. Ran the whole thing. Um, I thought I, I flew. I ran faster that day with a vest than I normally run without a vest. So that was easy. Wait, you bought huh? a vest. You thought you were going to be this guy. Oh, yeah. wicked and no, but I used to use it even after Murph. I used it yeah, all I the remember. time. You know, yeah. yeah. So then I did the pull-ups. I got through them. It wasn't hard. It just took me a little time. I got through them. Bro, push-ups? Done. The, I mean, the, no. <laughs> I, I was so far ahead of people that then, like, it almost seemed like they finished, and I'm still on push-ups. <laughs> Did you end up finishing? Yeah, and then the squats. Everybody talked about the squats and then being on the toilet and like nothing. Squats was easy. That last mile was easy. Maybe because I got a huge break with the pull-ups. <laughs> it took like four hours to do the push-ups. You kind of no, get to catch your breath yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, that's what I meant, the push-ups. Push yeah, yeah. I, I, I cracked that code. Yeah. On that note, I just got to jump and actually do my job. So I'll chat with you guys in the future. Um, enjoy your Memorial Day festivities. Enjoy Murph for those who are going to do it. Justice over order. Eat better, be better. Eat all the bad food today. Eat Hot less sugary burgers, foods. All that good stuff. But get some donuts, some tequila. Show. Some weed.
<laughs> Take it easy, everybody.